from a relatively quiet Athens. It's Wednesday, November 9th, and a few days ago they announced that there was going to be a transportation strike, and at first it was just a few things, ferries included, and then late last night they announced that there were going to be no buses at all. At first they were gonna run like in the morning and then to like nine o'clock and then nothing. So the only public transportation that is currently running, as the last time I checked, is the tram. I think the Green Line was running from about nine o'clock to three o'clock today, but I think that is it. So there's no airport bus, there's no port me airport metro, there are no buses at all. So um, it makes for a very quiet day here because I live on a street where a bus goes by um, every five to 10 minutes. And even during the night, it comes like every 20 to 30 minutes. So it's been a very quiet day. I have a doctor's appointment tonight. So I am going to walk to the tram and hope that the tram is actually running like they said, take it to Syntagma and then walk the rest of the way. I could walk all of the way there. I thought that might've been a bus, but it was just a big box truck. <laughs> um, so, and then I will, don't know if my doctor's appointment will be done by the time the tram stops. So if that's the case, I'll be walking back. I am on the way to the doctor's office now and there hasn't been any change to the strike, so the only thing that I can take is the tram. The tram doesn't even take me the entire way, so I'm going to have to do some walking. So let's see what this is like. I've never had to go anywhere when there's been a strike, so this is sort of my first experience being in Athens and not with a ferry strike. weird because usually this is a taxi stand and there's taxis lined up all the way down this street but not today it actually feels quieter even though there's traffic it feels quieter because there are no taxis like out on the streets all right the tram is running and here it comes which I don't know if I'm gonna make it because I don't have the green man oh wait there's just one car coming so I'm probably gonna go the tram is running so and actually not as packed as I thought it would be now it is a little after seven o'clock so you know not the busy time of like five or six I had all the luck with the tram when I got here it was the, here and when I got to the one in Sigtagma to come back it was there so what I thought was gonna be a really long night is now not gonna be a really long night it's now Friday and I'm gonna go to the Lykee which I haven't done in forever because I either haven't been here or I just haven't gone uh, and it looks like it hasn't moved yet. I keep waiting to see when it's gonna move back to its winter location. Uh, I have a few things to get. Because I was gone for so long, I had absolutely no groceries and I feel like I've spent a small fortune this week. My goal today is to get almonds, apples, and eggs. And we'll see what else. Right now, that's all I can think of. Okay, I got just that because everything was way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I feel like I have spent a lot of money on groceries this week. Now, I did buy things that I don't normally buy. Uh, I bought a piece of salmon, some hairspray, cause static. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'm buying things that I wouldn't normally get on every trip, but I've spent almost 80 euros now and I'm almost out of olive oil and I ran out of some special salt that I have. So I know that I have to go buy that. So I think at this point I've spent just a little over 80 and I still have a few more things to buy. Food is definitely getting more expensive here in Athens now, at least at the supermarket. And when I was in Naxos, some of the restaurants raised their prices while I was there. As you can see, it's Marathon Sunday. This year I did not come down to watch it. Um, 
that was a really long event last year and I really wanted to come down to the National Gallery today. I wasn't sure if it was open, but it looks like that it is. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take photos or videos inside. Some museums you can, some you cannot, so we'll see. If you can't, then I'll just give you a report after. So they renovated this building and opened in May of 2021, like right as we came out of lockdown. So I haven't been in it yet, but I'm anxious to see what it looks like. About halfway through, when I got to the third floor, they told me I couldn't film anymore. So I don't know what to do with my footage that I took. They asked me to delete what they saw me taking. So I don't, uh, I'm a little confused because people are taking photos. There were no signs saying no photos, no video. So I tried to look on their website before I came. There was no information. So I'm just gonna show you the photos that I took uh, instead of the video because I don't really want to upset anyone. wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take the metro here and I thought I was gonna have to walk because sometimes when we have events they close Sigtagma so the trains don't stop but they did today so I was able to transfer to the blue line and come up the one stop to Emegalis Bos because it's not it's like a five minute walk from that metro so the two things that I want to check on are the new metro line they are building a station in Kolonaki Square, and I haven't been there in ages. Now, the last time I went there, there was a big fence around it, so there might still be a fence. I'm sure there is, but I just want to see what it looks like. And then I will talk about the other thing when we get close to it, because it was in the news the other day, and I had read about it before, or I had noticed it before, and then I read about it. It's really interesting. Here I am in Kolonaki Square, and they're definitely working a lot on it big hole in the ground <laughs> um, the fence is still up so I definitely can't see anything for sure and it looks like they tore ripped out all the big trees there were all these lovely trees in the center and they're gone well kind of see in there you can see there used to be a fountain in there so that's interesting. I, it's kind of sad about the trees, but hopefully they'll replant something. They did live this big pine tree. I guess they left as many as they could. I have to say that Marathon Sunday is quickly becoming my favorite day here because the roads are closed and so you can just walk. Like normally this road is jam packed full of cars. <laughs> so, and since it's nice and sunny, it's amazing. So I still haven't gotten a coffee. So I'm getting a little bit of a caffeine withdrawal headache. So I'm gonna go show you the thing <laughs> that I wanted to show you. And then I'm going to treat myself to a Starbucks. And I never get them here. But since I'm in TikTok, I figure, why not? Plus I wanna see if we have Christmas cups in Greece yet. See, look at this, no people. No cars. Well, there are people, but very few people and no cars. It's so funny because so many people are walking over here on the sidewalk and the whole road is closed. So I'm not really sure why. If you've been to Athens and walked on this side of the parliament building, you have probably noticed the flower shops. I read an article the other day that the flower shops were put in either before, during or after World War II so that people ha could lay flowers for the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Now, earlier this year, I that, noticed they had closed them, but that's because they were renovating them. And now there used to be 11, and now there's only two, but they have put in a like cultural shop where you can buy like museum gifts. And then the flowers, the two flower shops are back. Oh, they're really nice. Like they were kind of dark before and like I never went in them because it seemed sort of not sure if they were like for people to walk in or if they were just like flower shops that operated out of them that only did delivery. So this is really nice to see. Oh, it's really nice now. You can actually see in the shop is quite large. And here is the other flower shop. 
Okay, we do have Christmas cups here in Athens. Pretty standard ones. I know they make new ones every year, but they always look the same to me, but that's what it looks like. Man, that's super hot. There's also a new little store restaurant. I assume it's a restaurant. I think it's just takeaway though, because there are no tables and chairs. So things are changing down here in Sigtagma. I'm just out running some errands this afternoon and I've noticed that here in Greece, in the fall is when things sort of change, like people do work on their houses or they open new businesses. Not in the spring like it would be maybe in the US. And I think this is because of the tourist season being in the summer and so long and so hard. So like all fall I've seen things happening, like people opening stores or renovating. So it's sort of interesting to see. Like here's a prime example. This is like the third or fourth place I've seen them working on like the utilities and the sidewalks. And that definitely doesn't happen that much in the summer. Wow, there's also lots of noise today. I started working on this shop, must have been while I was in Naxos and it's been boarded up since I lived here. So I'm excited to see what this becomes and it's near my house. It will be interesting to see what has opened when I get back from my trip to the US in a few weeks uh, because I have a feeling that in the three weeks that I'm gonna be gone, a lot is going to change. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked it and you wanna see more of my travels and my life in Greece, I hope you'll consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.